Well, <laughs> why do women become producers? I mean, listen, the easiest answer, and I don't even know if it's completely true, but the easiest answer is because we are trained to service and be empathetic and build everybody else's lives. So it just makes sense that you would go be a producer. It could also be, though, the mentor system. You know, if you come to Hollywood and you're a female, you will find mentors to mentor you as executives, to mentor you as a producer, to even mentor you as a writer, really. Mm -hmm. To mentor you as a director, I think that's a very limited pool of mentors. Mm -hmm. But I reached out to people trying to find a mentor in television directing. And that's really, really, mm -hmm. really hard. And, and I called this woman to say, I would love to take you to lunch, and can you talk to me? And you've done this before, and I don't know how to do this and all of that. And she was very standoffish mm -hmm. and actually not helpful and I realized she came from the generation mm. before when there were right. very few women very competitive very 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 competitive so she was not of the generous generation uh -huh. you can run into them still and sometimes I want to say we're not doing that anymore <laughs> right. we're, we right. don't have to we're do done. that we're, we're actually done. helping <laughs> each other we've shifted, we've shifted. Yeah. you don't yeah. have to because I, I do think there's a shift I think women are very supportive of each other but again it takes a long time to grow that out now because our generation is now mentoring, but it's going to take a while, I think. Let's just talk about how hard it is to be a director at all first. Mm -hmm. Anybody, right. you know, I know people who've been out here for 20 years trying to direct. They're male, they're white, they <laughs> directed a movie, they're talented. Uh, this friend of mine and I just felt like, you know what, no one's going to give us the money to go make a movie. <laughs> like, we've got that figured out at age 25. So we said, well, like, how do you, you know, like, how do you get jobs? that you want. Well, we have to go make something and show people you can do it. And right. so we did what people do, whether they're men or women, whatever. Um, and we just set out and spent about a year on the road making that. And we didn't know what we were doing. It was a disaster. So Anthem, it seemed like a really great project. <laughs> what are you going to say? Well, we don't know. Yeah. <laughs> you went from producer to director. So what, why did you decide, okay, it's to my time for my voice? I felt really beaten down by the process of trying to get movies made. And then I had an idea for something and I thought, oh, that's actually, that's actually kind of a good idea. Oh, that's a documentary. Oh, I love documentaries. Oh, that's something I can do. If we can be empowering those children, the possibilities are endless. <laughs> it's funny, as a producer, when you're making lists of directors, often I don't even realize there's no women on it. Mm -hmm. Is it because the pool is just not as big? And that's what it feels like. I mean, that's what it feels like to me, is that there's just not as big of a, a pool. And so then you stop and you think, okay, well, who are they? Who are those women directors? And you kind of make them off to the side to say, well, who fits with this project? And, you know, if you have a, because all projects are so specific, within the framework of this specific project, well, maybe there's two. When you get to the women, like, let's say Patty Jenkins, who made a really impressive first film with nothing. It's weird how there's like this, I don't know, I don't know, I mean, can she do it? I mean, Monster was amazing, but I mean, this is like, it almost feels subliminal because it ha has happened so many times with even female executives who are very pro-girl, like, they're, they love women. They start to talk you out of giving this woman her next, you know, big leap. But then when you get down to like, the guy from South America who made the $600,000 horror film that's maybe, maybe it's not even as good, but whatever, he stays on the list. All you need in life is love and to believe in yourself. And then there's nothing you can't do. I mean, I just did this Project 5 that was all women. It was exciting to make the list because we could literally put any female director on the list, anybody, and it was like, wow, finally there's a female director list because it, it was feature directors, TV directors, Directors who haven't, who haven't worked in a while, like, you know, we're right. just putting everybody on this master, master list. And uh, that was cool. But, you know, if you put the master list of men together, it's going to be 80 pages long. Right. <laughs> right. I was too. I was excited. 